What's going on guys, this is AP iPhone Help and yesterday on April 3rd, Apple announced their WWDC and the, uh, the dates of the event and it is going to be on June 2nd through the 6th. Um, and basically it's going to be just like any other WWDC event. Uh, we're probably going to have the new iOS, probably iOS 8 uh, if they're going in order. Um, they're probably going to have I, the iPhone 6, um, hopefully. I kind of hope that's a thing. And then probably something else that we don't know exactly what they're going to have yet. Um, it could be a new iPad, I highly doubt that because they just released one. Um, but what I'm suggesting and what I'm thinking that it's going to be is finally, finally, finally we're going to see the iWatch. Uh, and I mean I've already discussed things about the iWatch before everyone kind of knows what uh, they're looking for and the iWatch and I think that Apple's just going to do it just to get on the market uh, or they're going to be releasing the iTV or Apple TV uh, not to be confused with the current Apple TV which is just the little box but uh, an actual TV um, that has the screen and everything like that so what are we going to be seeing with iOS 8 and the iPhone 6? Let's find out. Alright, so my predictions for the iPhone 6 are going to be either a 4.7 to a 5.7 or so uh, inch display. I kind of think it's going to be more towards the 4.7 inch display because Apple definitely needs to up the, uh, the display, but at the same time, it's actually like I feel as though like the S5 or the S4 or anything like that like they're too big of a display for you know my liking so I think that they're gonna stick with a smaller of the larger displays if that makes sense um, but they could actually just make two uh, make a iPhone 6 XL maybe or a, a large or something like that and just a regular iPhone 6 so having the 4.7 and then a 5.7 display or something like that um, speaking of the display though, I believe that Apple is going to finally make a better display uh, with the pixels and also um, with the actual glass. I think they're going to make it out of sapphire uh, and this is used in the camera of the iPhone, uh, the lens actually on the camera so that the, the lens doesn't get scratched. So if they make the screen out of the sapphire, which they actually just came out with a cheaper way of doing so, uh, they're probably going to have a lot less scratches and a lot less breaking of the iPhone 6. Uh, so I definitely hope that they do this, but we'll definitely see in, uh, in the months to come. Alright, and last on the iPhone 6, uh, it's definitely going to be thinner. I don't really know, you know how thin, but definitely going to be a little bit thinner because it's going to be stretched out uh, to accommodate the larger display. It's going to be faster, obviously, with the A8 chip is what everyone's saying. And I honestly think there's just going to be three models, uh, the regular iPhone 6, iPhone 6 XL, which is going to be a larger display, and then the iPhone 6C, which is going to be kind of like the 5C, except it's going to be, have the 6 display, so the 4.7 inch display, but a color and plastic uh, back of the phone. Uh, and that's basically it for the iPhone 6. Alright, and finally with the iOS 8 upgrade, um, basically we're not really going to see much of an upgrade from iOS 7. I like the, the new look of it and overall UI of it. But I do think that there's going to be a couple new apps that are coming with the iPhone and or iPad, uh, which is like the stock apps or whatever, which would probably be like a health book app is what a lot of people are saying. And I like this idea a lot of getting more health knowledge to more people. Um, it's kind of going to look like the Passbook app, but it's just going to be all health related topics. Uh, we're probably going to see a preview app, which is kind of like that on your Mac. Uh, so basically the ability to preview or look at any type of image or uh, PDF file or stuff like that, like Word documents, everything like that, all in one app. Um, and this is going to be, are going to allow us to see more, um, more types of documents and more types of file types uh, with, within your iPhone or your iPad. Oops, text edit. Alright, and then uh, lastly, we're probably going to see some map improvements, finally, hopefully. Um, Apple Maps definitely has improved since it first came out, but uh, hopefully there are more and more improvements with the maps. I definitely think that we're going to have more 3D improvements. Uh, so for when you're in big cities, if you uh, type the 3D on your maps, you can see a 3D um, view of the city. I think it's really cool. I used it while I was up in New York City and it was kind of awesome to see like the different buildings and what they look like. It, it helped me out a lot more uh, when trying to navigate throughout the city. 
Uh, and I think that there might, I don't know about this, but there might be a uh, tips app. Uh, it could be something that uh, you download from the app store or something like that. But it's going to be like a uh, iPhone or iOS for dummies type of deal, uh, just in an app. And I, I think it's going to be developed mainly for the older users. Um, so like, I know my grandmother has an iPhone and she really doesn't know how to use it all that well but she knows how to use it so with a tips app it could help her use it a lot better than you know what she actually uses it for now all right guys thank you for watching and make sure you are subscribed so that way you catch all of my videos uh from now on or any of my older videos uh, i definitely will be doing a lot of reviews of products and apps and stuff like that and definitely be covering all of the main apple and or other tech uh related updates and stuff like that uh, definitely have a WWDC video out the first day, uh, June 2nd, and I'll be covering iPhone 6 and iOS 8 updates in later videos. So make sure you are subscribed to catch all that, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.